universe, angels, spirits, and guides. Help me bring a love reading to Aries. Daily love reading for the collective Aries. Okay. You're making a head over heart decision. You're cutting things out that no longer serve you. <clears throat> you are feeling beautiful, abundant. You're feeling blessed. You're radiating positive energy, beauty, nurturing qualities. Someone's willing to put in the work. Something's going to suddenly shock you. You're going to hear some news, possibly find out about something. Or someone's going to say, tell you something that's just going to shock you. Let's get more information about the Tower card for Aries in love. <clears throat> Okay, you're going to hear something about an investment. Someone could be a little possessive, holding on to something. Give us some more clarity. Aries in love. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio coming in. You have contentment, satisfaction, joy. Your cups are full. You're going to get a positive message from a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. What is this? The star. Hope, renewal, wishes coming true, heightened sensitivity, intuition, feelings. This is looking really good. Give us some more clarity. Let's see what else. Any other messages? Looks like you're healing from something or you could just be exhausted. This is your Aries. Give us more clarity on the Emperor for Aries in love. Oh, the Four of Wands wanted to come out. The Death card. Something is going to change and transform in your life. Spirit, what is this transformation, this change, this ending? What is this in regards to? Show us the card. That will best symbolize what coming in quick. Something's taking very quick action. Overpouring of emotions. Looking at your hard work. Give us more clarity, spirit. You're carrying way too many burdens on your own. Could be experiencing back pain. Give us some more clarity on the outcome of this reading for Aries. I'm getting to rest, meditate. There's a celebration coming. This card wanted to come out already. So to actually have it fly out, it's a, there's a double confirmation there. There's a celebration coming, a community, welcoming community, a happy home. This is the card of celebration and joy. The outcome is looking beautiful. So you're making a head over heart decision. You're, you're choosing to be less emotional and to do what's right for you. You see how this man is serious? He has strong boundaries and she's very... Enjoying the fruits of her the fruits of her labor because she's also independent and she's feeling beauty beautiful powerful She's a nurturing woman in her feminine energy It could be that you're willing to put in the work on yourself or in your relationship or someone else will Something's gonna happen. It's gonna shock you This could be in regards to someone someone a little controlling or possessive. It doesn't have to be. But just be someone's being greedy and stingy with their emotions or something like that. But be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Comment if this resonates and let me know how. We have the contentment, satisfaction. This is a very, these are, po you have so many positive cards, but I'm also getting... You're going to find out something that's going to surprise you. Come back to this reading next week and let me know what that is. It might even be tomorrow that you get the news. Something's going to suddenly change and end, but it doesn't look bad. It looks like the celebration card, the meditation card. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about this to get some more clarity for Aries in love. I'm going to do more Aries readings for today. Make sure you check those out. It's time to disconnect from the world. I'm getting self-love, focusing on self. You see, the more you focus on yourself, the more attractive you are to others. By simply obsessively thinking about someone else, you are pushing them away energetically. 
Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. This is a universal, it, it applies to almost everyone. Your love life will always benefit. Let's get more cards for Aries. Give us a little bit more clarity. One more card would be good enough. Let's see, love spirit. Thank you. This is a confirmation for what I just said. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Ooh, we got make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. I love this card. I feel like way too many people are complacent and they do not put in effort. You know, if you're looking for love, love yourself to the best of your ability. Go to the gym, eat healthy, take care of yourself, take care of your hair, your skin, your nails, your teeth, develop a routine, focus on your mannerisms, learn how to dress better, learn how to have better hygiene. I mean, there's so many things you could be doing. You could be talking to people. You could go out more. You could join meetups. You could, you know, maybe possibly make a YouTube channel and to meet your fellow community tribe members. You have to stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I told you guys that I manifested my husband using the law of assumption. And the biggest reason why I feel like I was able to manifest it so quickly was because I stopped thinking negative about love and I started thinking positive. It's that simple. All of your negative thoughts are pushing pushing love away. For example, oh, there are no good men out there. There are no good women out there. Um, at my age, it's so difficult to date because everyone else is having kids. And so those negative thoughts, those limiting beliefs are gonna continuously prove themselves to be facts in your personal, in your reality. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. If you're dating someone, let go of controlling the outcome. Don't be so attached. Be playful, have fun, enjoy the process. I hope this resonated for someone. If it did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If not, there are more readings coming today. Thank you for watching.